Good morning, I'm student meteorologist Justin DeSalto with your WestCon weather team update. Checking out your Wednesday morning so far on this Valentine's Day. We did have a gloomy start to the day, but clouds will be starting to break up as we go through the afternoon, so that's good news. Current conditions as of 11 a.m., we have a temperature of 38 degrees with a dew point of 29 and the winds are west at 13 miles per hour. Checking out our weather headlines. Coming up in the next few days, we will have mild days ahead, but we will have a couple rounds of rain to go through. We do have a snow threat for Saturday night, and I'll go over that in just a minute. And do we have a dry start to next week? We'll go over that in my five-day forecast. National surface map, we do have mild air to the southwest of us that will be coming into our area thanks to high pressure that we'll be on the back side of. And then to the west near the Four Corners area, there is low pressure that will be heading east that will invade our area in the next couple days. National infrared satellite picture, do have a batch of clouds over the middle part of the section just over Tennessee that will be moving northeast and that will be accompanying precip tonight which we will have. With those clouds, the precip over here now will be heading northeast. We will get that through the overnight hours tonight. NAM simulated area for tonight and overnight, the showers will be pushing through west to east across the state. So not a, a heavy event, just some light shower event that we will go through. Early Friday morning, we will have another batch of rain that will come through. This looks like a more steadier event with a cold front that will be pushing south and east through our area that will start dropping our temperatures. The National Service map for Friday shows that cold front that will be pushing through. High pressure right behind it will come south and east in control of our area, but that will drop our temperatures into the weekend. For Saturday night, with that possible snow event, we do have a coastal storm that will be just south of our area, south of Long Island, and it is showing a period of snow through southern New England. Question of whether or not how, with the track of this low, how far north it comes or how far south and how much precip gets in our area, that will still be determined, so we will watch that closely. For tonight, we will have a low of 36 degrees. We'll have increasing clouds and that chance of rain overnight as it showed on the NAM. During the day on Thursday, we will have a high of 57 degrees with an AM shower that could be left over from the showers tonight, but mostly cloudy and mild. So that 57 degrees will really feel nice. Friday, we will have an AM shower, but we will stay cloudy through most of the day after that cold front comes through with a high of 54 degrees, that, but that might be reached early in the day. Then temperatures are going to drop like a rock. Saturday morning, 21 degrees, so that's going to be a bitter shock. Saturday, we will turn mostly sunny, 34 degrees. We will have that coastal storm that we'll be watching. I did put a little snowflake in there, see what happens, with a low of 25 degrees Saturday night. Sunday, we will turn mostly sunny, 44 degrees, and we will get mild again Monday, mostly sunny, 47 degrees, with uh, Washington's birthday, with the President's Day. Check us out on social media and follow us at WCSU Meteorology. Thank you for watching. I'm Justin Diaz-Hotel, student meteorologist.